Let's go through more exponent examples. So to warm up, let's think about taking a fraction to some power. So say, let's say I have 2 thirds, and I want to raise it to the third power here. And we've already learned there's two ways of thinking about this. One way is to say, let's take 3 2 thirds. So that's 1 2 third, 2 2 thirds, and 3 3 2 thirds. So that's 1, 2, 3, 2 thirds. And then we multiply them. And then we multiply them. And we will get, and we will get, let's see, the numerator will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And the denominator is going to be 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 27. Now the other way of viewing this is you start with a 1, and you multiply it by 2 thirds three times. So you multiply by 2 thirds once, twice, three times. You will get the exact same result here. So let's do one more example like that. So let's say I had 4 ninths and I want to square it. When I raise something to the second power, people often say you're squaring it. Also, raising something to the third power, people some, sometimes say you're cubing it. But let's raise 4 ninths to the second power. Let's square it. I encourage you to pause the video and work this out yourself. Well, once again, you could view this as taking four, two four ninths, taking two four ninths and multiplying them, or you could view this as starting with a one and multiplying it by four ninths two times. Either way, your numerator is going to be four times four, which is sixteen, and your denominator is going to be nine times nine, which is equal equal to eighty one.